I'm Paul Bennett at Downey Stunda Creations here in Millbridge, Maine. We're located along Maine's Bowl Coast, not very far from the U.S. Canadian border. This week, my project was to make a portable uh, navigation station for my 18 foot sailboat build. Now, if you've been following my channel, you've seen me building my hull, the new 18 foot sailboat. I'm going, I have planned for a very specific voyage, and I had to suspend the hull construction when winter came on. It just got too cold for epoxy resins and uh, bad weather and everything, so I wrapped it up. But I'm still doing smaller projects for that sailboat because there's a lot to be done. And the problem with a small sailboat, only 18 feet, I built this little pocket cruiser, is that uh, there's not a whole lot of room inside. There's enough room for single handing, but uh, having a fancy thing like a permanent navigation station that you might see on larger boats is just not really a possibility. So I decided to build a portable navigation station. The idea is, is that I can fashion some brackets inside the boat to where I can take this case that I built, this is, the, this is the portable navigation station, and I can lock it into these brackets so now I have a little bit of a table. This table can be used for putting my charts on it, for navigating, and, uh, but it can also be used as a tabletop uh, when I'm fixing a meal or something, or, or for other uses where you need a table. But what's nice about this is that it'll come out of those brackets and now it's like a little suitcase and it will contain all my charts, my dividers, my compasses, my leads, pencils, erasers, um, protractors and so forth. Everything I need to plot my courses. And it will also hold uh, a book of maps. The, when you buy those map booklets, they're just, just the right size, it will fit in there with a little room to spare. And so this one here, and then the other thing is, what I forgot to mention, is that when this comes out of the brackets on the boat, it's fairly thin. There's a lot of places on the boat where this will slip out of the way, so it won't, it won't bother me. Keep it out of the way. And I can also, I have a little handle on it, I can carry it like a suitcase and I can take it ashore. When I'm at home, I can pull out my chops, I have all the tools, everything I need, and I can plot my waypoints, plan my, my cruises and so forth, and then take it with me when I go to the boat. So it's handy in that regard. It has a couple of latches here. And then you undo the latches and it opens up. It's just like a little, little case. It's very simple. Just a couple of hinges and uh, the two latches and the handle. And that's all there is to it. I made this out of scrap leftover 2x4 cuts uh, from building my hull and this thin plywood, it's less than an eighth of an inch, it's what they call a door skin it's, the type, it's Luan, the type they use for making hollow cord uh, interior doors so and all most lumberyards will have this or know how to get it uh, again it's scrap too so I'm going to show you how to build it in this video I hope you enjoy the video uh, please like the video and uh, share it and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and hit that little bell on there so you can be notified when new videos come on and I really appreciate it, it helps my YouTube channel I think uh, I'll be posting this on my Patreon page as well and for my patrons uh, and you can join Patreon for as little as a dollar a month if you want and you get a whole lot of tips and tricks uh, free plans, drawings above and beyond what you see on my YouTube videos but uh, on my Patreon page, I think I'll probably put together a sketch with dimensions for this. This is roughly 26 inches long. Uh, the shot uh, depth is about 20 inches. And it's about, oh, a little less, about maybe three and a half inches thickness here. So I'll put together a sketch and, uh, you know, so it's a little bit easier to follow and I'll post it on my Patreon page. And uh, I won't have it for a few days yet. So enjoy the video. Please comment. If you have any ideas, any thoughts, if you'd like to add to it, got a better idea, please let me know. I appreciate it. And thank you very much for watching.
So here's my new portable navigation station and uh, basic box. But what's nice about this is that my 18 foot sailboat uh, is very small on the inside and I can't have a permanent navigation station. It takes up too much space. By having this separate, I can slip it out of the way. Uh, it's, it's thin, so I can always tuck it away somewhere so it's not in the way uh, when I'm not using it. When I am using it, I'll make some brackets that'll just fit, drop right into place. It could be used as a table, um, makeshift galley, and I want to eat a meal or I'm, I'm doing other things, or if I'm working on my charts. So I take a book of charts and I can put it right on top there. Of course, these are mangled, but I have other charts that lay flat. And uh, when I'm finished with them, what I can do is I can open up the case and uh, slip the chart in there. I can also put in all my navigation tools, my parallel rules, uh, protractors and compasses and pencils and erasers and everything. And so now it's out of the way when I don't need it. I can latch it so it's not going to top's not going to come off. I can pick it up. I can carry it like a suitcase. I can take it ashore when I want to. Uh, take it home. I want to plot I want to plot a series of routes, different waypoints before I take the boat out. I can bring this with me. I put it in the boat. When I'm ready to use it on the boat, I put it in its position otherwise it's tucked out of the way. This has other uses. This is good for an artist. If you're an artist and you want to carry your art supplies, you could put a good sized canvas in there. You can put in all kinds of paints and palettes and brushes and whatever else you need. So uh, it has multiple uses. It came out nice. I only use scrap wood. It's what I had. I didn't go out and buy money except for the hardware. These latches I bought over 30 years ago and they were sitting in the shop. The only thing I bought today is the handle and the hinges on the back because I ran out of small hinges. And that was it. Uh, everything else I had. Uh, the framework is just, uh, it was left over from ripped down 2x4s when I was uh, working on the hull earlier in the, in, uh, well, in the fall of this past year before winter came and I had to wrap the hull up. So I had a bunch of leftover cutoffs and things so I used those. And this thin plywood is what they call door skins. It's less than an eighth of an inch. It's just Luan. Uh, it's what they make hollow cord doors from. And a lot of lumbiads have it in stock. And this is also left over from other projects, so I didn't have to go out and buy it. A little bit of glue, a few brads, a little hardware. Now, of course, I'm not going to leave it like this. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to sand it, and I'll put a nice finish on it. And uh, I'm going to call it good.